I'm joined today by Desu Gorman, who's the star of Cops and Monsters and Stray Dog, and also an amazing stand-up. So Des, yes, hello. tell us about your latest ventures. Well, there's so many adventures to be had. <laughs> uh, being a, a, an actor and stand-up, as you said, living in Edinburgh, the uh, lot of opportunities to, to be had. Um, the series that you've mentioned so far, the uh, Stray Dog and Cops and Monsters, they're both being crowdfunded at the minute, which I think is a brilliant idea. It can be a, a bit of hard work, but when you put the effort in and you're an independent filmmaker, it gives you the opportunity to, to branch out and to uh, experience making things off your own back, which I think is always a, a brilliant idea to be had for, uh, for everybody. First of all, tell us about Cops and Monsters. Yes, Cops and Monsters is a four-part web series uh, written and directed by Fraser Cool of um, Glasgow. Uh, it's about the uh, Paranormal Investigation Team, or the PIT. Uh, we, we're a world uh, where zombies and werewolves and vampires are the norm. They have to be policed. So this team is brought in to, to police the, the things that go bump in the night, as it were. Uh, many a star from Doctor Who and Torchwood are involved and it's a, a brilliantly written series. It's uh, dark, it's funny, it's quirky. Maybe think of Buffy the Vampire Slayer crossed with Torchwood. You get the general sort of idea of, of the show that we're trying to make. Now Stray Dog is a feature film that you're getting off the ground at the moment. It is indeed, yeah. Uh, Stray Dog is, um, as you say, a feature film by uh, a close personal friend of mine and uh, first time feature filmmaker uh, Douglas Fender. Um, this is more of a, a psychological thriller um, film, but the, the script is so brilliant and tight that it has many um, a local Edinburgh actor involved. Um, really hoping that this one uh, takes off because he's put a lot of effort into this. He's worked very, very hard. And if we can get this off the ground, people will see a film that's unique and original and dark and suspenseful. And it's just probably one of the best scripts that I've ever read. So. We're going to be, uh, that's it, already in the process of being crowdfunded, so we're just pushing that as much as we can just to get that out there and get people knowing about it. What's next for your stand-up career? Uh... Uh, stand-up career, um, I'm hoping to uh, tour my own personal um, show uh, in the Edinburgh Fringe. I did my first ever one-man show, which was to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the film Ghostbusters. And it was called um, Still Ready to Believe You, celebrating 30 years of ghostbusting. I'm going to tell you my all-time favourite worst joke. And thankfully for this show, it's clean. It really narrows it down for me. Um, so <clears throat> tell me, do you know what Bruce Lee's favourite drink is? I don't know what Bruce Lee's favourite drink is. Water! <laughs>